the world you feel hello my treasure welcome back to another blue lock recap video and oh my gosh the third episode of blue lock season two you know what i think we first need to talk about additional time because oh, i was like what's happening there no we're not gonna start with additional time we're gonna start of course with today's episode so today's episode starts of course where we left off where it is two against four and the team of isagi is behind and Isagi is really, really struggling to find how he can be a part of the game because Rin and Shido are the masters of the field. However, they clash on the field. So Isagi is trying to come up with a way how he can accommodate them and even get his own goal there. So he tries, of course, with the help of Hiori, tries to score a goal. However, Shido is like, you know what? It's my goal. Because if he's in the penalty area, whenever the ball is with him, he's master of the field. He will take that ball and he will shoot himself. And he did also, which makes the st score go from three to four. And Isagi has, of course, the epiphany that, oh my gosh, okay. So if the ball goes to Shido in that area, I stand zero chance. And then, of course, they try to get the ball back after kickoff. And they are able to get the ball back. And again, with Nanase and with Hori, Isagi tries to go for his goal. However, his physical abilities fall short so he has of course spatial awareness which means that with his thinking he can you know predict where the ball is going and can find where he can score a goal however when he gets the ball he misses and Rin of course being the master of the field he scores a goal with the missed ball of Isagi and it is four against four and Oh my gosh, the crowd is going wild because now it's all or nothing. And Isagi is frustrated about this. Oh my gosh, he's so frustrated about this. And then he has a very much heart-to-heart -heart talk with Hiori. And he gives him an advice that he says, you are too slow because of the way you are thinking. And you need to act. It needs to be a reflex. Your way of thinking. And then in the end of course. He finally figures out what Hiori means. And he scores the final goal. Making it 4 against 5. Meaning of course. Team A1 goes on to the next selection. And that is where they want you to think the episode ends. However the episode ends with the final pool for team c where you see the final person who is being selected for team c1 is rio and then it cuts over to seeing nagi staring at the screen and looking at rio just before it all ends nagi gets the purple glow over him representing of course rio and then we cut over to additional time oh my gosh ninja secrets so chiguri is very curious about otoya and are you really a descendant of ninjas and he says yes i am a descendant of ninjas and i will show you and then he does some naruto moves and then after his naruto moves he pins Chiguri to the wall and tries to kiss him and <laughs> with the tongue summoning technique and then you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh what the hell what's what's happening here <laughs> and then you know Chiguri's like stay away from me why is everybody treating me <laughs> like a girl and then of course he says yes these are the techniques to attract girls and they all work and then that is not all right he continues because he then grabs karasu so he does of course again his ninja move so I i'm calling them the naruto <laughs> ninja move and then he does a move on karasu so first he does the back hug and i'm like Oh my god. No, 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 no. Did I just end up in some kind of shoujo manga or whatever? And then he does a new move, which is the head pad. And you're like, 
Oh no, 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 I cannot, I cannot go any worse than that. And Karasu was getting angry, right? He's like, I'm gonna smack you, dude. And this, this is not funny anymore. Stay the hell away from me. And then, of course, the finishing touch. It's the chin lift. And it's the whispering in your ear. And oh my goodness. That, well, then, of course, Atoya gets smacked in the head. He's like, dude! And then, of course, Atoya assures them that he is only into girls and that he only learns this technique, you know, to give them advice on how to attract girls. And Tiguri and Karasu are like, yeah, okay, stay away from us, pervert. <laughs> Girl hungry dude, stay away. <laughs> They are ashamed of him at that point in time. And that is where the episode ends. And actually, the episode itself was okay, right? It was nice to see the development and Isagi scoring his goal. And having him also be patted on the head by Shida. Well, Shida didn't pat him on the head. But he said, you know, like, I can get in your explosion. And even Rin acknowledging his existence. Uh, but yeah, that did not, you know, like really captured my eye. It was really the end part, right? With Ryo and Nagi and additional time. Yeah, that, that, that made the whole episode 10 out of 10. But yeah, so let's get now into what we're going to do for today's Blue Lock unboxing. So for today's Blue Lock unboxing, I have capsule toys. Yay! So uh, yeah, I think these are the, 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 let me check. Oh, I know what these are. These are the cake gachapon blue lock. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, let's let's start. Let's start with the first one. Okay, so there we go. And one, two, three. Woo! Who do we have? What do we have? Oh yeah, of course. We start with the bottle curse. <laughs> we have this cute little. Okay, let me. Uh, where are my scissors? Let me grab them. There we go. We have cute strawberry and chocolate bottle cake. <laughs> And yes, I bought the full set also from the vanilla cake. And they. this is the second wave and this is the chocolate wave. And Bado is strawberries. So very fitting for uh, for his uh, awakening color, which is red. Okay, let's, uh, let's move along to the next one. Because these are different characters than they were in the first wave. So in the first wave, of course, it was Bashira. It was... Isagi, it was Chigri, it was Nagi, and it was Rin. So there are five pieces. Uh, so yeah, there was no Rio in there. So now we got Bado, and let's see who we have now. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have now? Yay! We have Rio! So the whole reason actually why I bought, you know, like the, the, the second wave was because I was missing Rio. It's like, why isn't he included in the first wave? He was only included in the second wave and oh my gosh look at how cute he is so he is blueberry and ah look at him he looked like a blueberry everybody thinks he looks like with his head looks like a blueberry but he is a blueberry a chocolate cake with a whipped cream surrounding him and he's just so freakishly adorable oh gosh okay let's let's grab the next one because you know we want to see who is inside can you guess can you guess who is inside this one? So it's not Chigiri. It's... <laughs> there we go. Who is it? One, two, three. I can see it. Ta-da! We have Seiya's. Okay, yeah, we have not seen Say, of course, uh, in this episode. It will take some time. Maybe not. Maybe it will. I don't know. <laughs> and here we have Say, And I think Say is Raspberry, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. So his brother is, of course, on the on the uh, vanilla cake and he is on the chocolate cake oh gosh it's so funny i love this one and then oh we have two more left so uh, let's uh, grab this one okay guess who's gonna be in here who are you missing that you want to see one two three you would have never guessed this one <laughs> It's Ego! I was... When I saw the listing for this one and it had Ego on it, I was like, Huh? What? Where does Ego come from? But we have cute little Ego. And he's the, the cream with the... Uh, I think it's buttercream, right? So he's the cream within the chocolate cake. <laughs> he is just so funny. I... 
I was shocked that he was on, you know, like in this lineup of the cakes. Because I would have assumed, you know, like they would have put somebody else on there. So, for example, Gagamaru. But no. no oh, now I already spoiled that the final one is not going to be Gagamaru. So, who will be in this final one? Can you guess? Can you guess? So, they have been released already, you know, like some time ago. So, then you might be able to guess who the final one is. And the uh, final one, and that's why I even more wanted to have it, right? It's Kunigami! Yay! And there we go. I think Kunigami is supposed to be an orange. Um, but it also looks like lemon. So I don't know if this should represent lemon or orange. But yay, we have also Kunigami in the lineup. And oh my gosh, these figures are just so adorable and like i said there are only two waves so we have the vanilla cake and we have the chocolate cake so i'm gonna put them now together and show them complete oh, there we go here we have the complete cake set yes it's hard to show it right <laughs> but this is the complete chocolate cake set and yeah it's very adorable but yeah that was it for this episode thank you so much for watching and as always Miss you. Love you. Bye-bye.